growing up the way I did, a black kid in these streets is fucking treacherous. Get the fuck away from me! What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about the likelihood of Anya dying and why she needs to be killed off, and who the Tahares were actually after here in the trailer. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's get straight into the topic. Now, question is between Anya and Norma, who do you think is going to die? Drop your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. For me, I think Anya will end up dead and I'll present my theory to you as to why. Now, one of the key subject matters going into the last episode is Monet's death and revenge. And we all know who killed her or who is responsible for her death. Now, the Taharas are grieving, very heartbroken and pained as a result of their mother's death. So basically, Cain, Drew, Diana are now orphans which is a very painful situation they found themselves as young adults. Now, we all know death is inevitable, so everyone will die one day, but it is bitter and more painful if someone kills your loved one and you know the killer as well. Now, who did this to the Tahares? Norma, right? So if the Tahares have to retaliate on Norma, she equally needs to feel the impact, isn't it? This means that whatever retaliation the Tahares have in mind should not be way simple on Norma. I know as any rational being who finds him or herself in the Tahares situation will definitely think of one thing to do as revenge and that is to kill the killer or the one responsible for their loved one's death. So that is very normal for the Tahares to feel like killing Norma for killing their mother. But is that the best solution? If they kill Norma, her pain will last only a few seconds and that is all. But the Tahares will forever have to deal with the loss of their mother for a long time. So if you ask me, killing Norma is not the best option if truly the Tahares want her to feel their pain. So taking out Norma for me is way simple for a revenge because she will not live for even three minutes to feel any pain. She is not going to cry. She will not mourn. She will not feel angry about anything and her life will just end at once. But is that what the Tahares really want or they want more? Or they want Norma to equally feel the pain they are feeling right now? Now, at this point, Norma's securities are tight and the Tahares might not have the army to fight this war. And before they can get Norma, they will have to go through her army to get her, which will require more bodies from the Tahares. So what strategy can the Tahares use on Norma for her to feel the similar pain they are feeling right now? That is where Anya comes into the picture. If Norma dies, will Anya feel any pain at all? I don't think so because Anya has basically lived her life almost solo. Not with her mom, not with her dad. And from all indication, there isn't much motherly bonding between her and her mother. And I think Anya even bonded with her father more as compared to Norma. So taking Norma out will not really affect Anya so much because already she starts to have different thoughts about her mother and her dealings. Now, on the other side, Norma loves her child. If you follow her story keenly, she's doing everything in her power to protect Anya and make sure that she isn't exposed to what she deals in. She makes sure Anya is fully protected against any possible threat. And we all saw how she reacted when Tariq even came into her life. So clearly, she holds her daughter in high esteem. So now whatever that will break Norma is her daughter. Hence, Anya is a weak link to Norma. So if the Tahares want Norma to feel the impacts they are feeling for her killing their mother, the best thing they can do is to take her daughter out. Now, question is, will it be easy for them to kill Anya? No, but there is always a mistake or some fight that can become a reason something bad will happen to someone. Now, based on the trailer, we see Anya in a heated conversation with Norma. She probably find out that she killed her father or she possibly confronted her about what happened at the wedding leading to Monet's death and all. And as usual, Norma was still lying to her daughter, so she has to angrily leave her mother. Now, this is where Anya can be potentially exposed to the Tahares. So what happens next? The Tahares started looking for Anya. Now, where could Anya be? Who can she turn to in this situation? Tariq. And Ken knows about that. Their little affairs could be exposed to Diana now, which will also piss Diana off because she will also now be thinking Anya was the reason Tariq wanted to sleep with her using condom after she lost her pregnancy. Now, what happens? Tariq decided to help Anya by protecting her from the Tahares. Now, if you look at these two scenes, the brick wall looks almost the same 
with matching colors. And if you look at the door Anya and Tariq are coming out from, the top of it indicates that they are coming out through the exit, which possibly means that where the Tahades are coming from here is the entrance to the same vicinity or building. Now, there should be a threat or a reason why two people will run out of the exit point of a place. And who could be more dangerous in this situation? The Tahades. So I believe the Tahares were after Anya and they ran out to enter the car. It could also be the reason Diana was shooting at them, hence the look on Anya's face here. That was possibly the reason why Tariq was later angrily asking Diana what she was thinking. What was you thinking, B? It could also mean that at this very moment, Tariq wasn't even aware of Monet's death and was probably thinking he was protecting Anya from Norma Oli. But let me know what you also think about this in the comment section. Do you think killing Norma is the best revenge? or killing Anya for Norma to feel the pain as well before even if they have to take her out, they can. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. But I think Norma will not die and I don't think we'll get closure on everything in just one episode. I feel we'll be either happy or very angry at the end of episode 10. But there will be a lot of future stories they can possibly build up on should in case they want to continue. There is also past conversation, Tate's brother's death, two beats, Tariq's graduation, Ife, and untold stories to cover. But at this crucial moment, we are in the middle of a war. Telling some stories now will not be possible. So I believe power is really not over yet. Another thing I think can likely happen is maybe 50 is now serious about leaving stars to continue on his own network. And maybe that is why they suddenly said that it is the final episode. Maybe it's the final episode of Power Book 2 Ghosts and Force with Stars Network. You may never know. And there has been a lot of calls for 50 to leave stars and start his own network. So maybe this is his way out finally. But let's see what happens and let me know what you guys also think in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.